Hey everybody, welcome back to day number seven of our Scoop Quest series. And the question is pretty much as simple as it can be, a Scooby-Doo series you'd never get tired of. So out of the, I think it's like over 13 series of Scooby-Doo, out of all of them, which one do you not get tired of? And that's really like, you know, brings it to like your top 10 like situations because I don't really hate all the series like some of them I do get annoyed like the Scooby-Doo and Scrappy shorts those can get kind of like boring sometimes um the Scooby-Doo where are you series I've seen them so many times I don't hate them but if it's like my go-to watch thing I don't really go jump the bag and to where are you sometimes I want a nostalgic look back I'll go with where are you but for me personally I never look to the originals that much and for me when it comes to a series as a series I'm going to watch over and over again and always find something new and with me it has to be Scooby Mystery Incorporated because with that season it was a continuation it left so many unanswered questions like even though you watched it the first time you can go back and get a whole new experience of looking at it from a different perspective looking at all the stuff that's going in the background just pick up new sort of like um, senses between each of the cast and the previous background cast and all that just look at the characters as a whole so i can go watch uh, scooby the mystery corporate as many times as i like but i'm never gonna get tired of it and my theory always changes slightly at the end like when i see the finale of season two like that cliffhanger was a major one and let people hang on the edge like what's happening does this confirm the timeline of Scooby-Doo? Does that mean where are you follows after Mystery Incorporated? We don't know. But leaves that possible Im imagination and possible. You literally could have as many odds as you like. And for me personally, I think it opens up the entire Scooverse universe. Like, opens an infinite realities of Scooby-Doo where in one sense this was the gang's first initial journey when they led into the unknown and beyond where there's like real supernatural occurrences and yes it may fly tied with some of the movies and may fly tied with like other series and all that with incarnations but for me personally I like the idea of an entire Scooby-Doo universe unfolding where you have these different mixes and all that we have one where the where are you gang started their journey as like teens and all that then we had the Mystery Incorporated where they were still in school and all that in high school and all that they're learning and then doing mysteries on the side and then leaving for their journey at the end of the cliffhanger so yeah there's the infinite amount of possibilities that we can go with but for me that's what i like about mystery corporate i can watch it learn something new and get a different kind of theory through it whereas i look at where are you where are you didn't have a cliffhanger it was just these mysteries and then some of them they didn't follow through with the last ones so they weren't continuations and that's why like when the when story continues to the next that's when it like picks off and Mr. Incorporated worked on those elements so they made Scooby-Doo into a continuation where you can watch it back to back and not get you know took it out of the loop yeah okay yeah if you've stopped it and watched it weekly then you'll get a recap once now again on certain episodes where they made a recap of what went on previously people missed out on a few episodes and there were fillers they always add in fillers like you know bring up the time right a bit like a game as well where you have that like fill a bit to collect resources and all that and that's what the gang was felt to me that they were just doing something in between until the storyline picked up with itself and so i can never get bored of mystery incorporated not at all but i'm curious to see what you guys think as well so let me know in the comments below a series that you're most fond of and the one that you never get tired of seeing because i'm curious to see why i'm going depth you can go all out if you want but i'm just really curious to see which series you're most connected to and the one that's your go-to series like when you have friends around and they ask what scooby-doo series did you watch and they ask for your suggestion what would be your first pick a lot of people say where are you and that is acceptable but for me if I had friends around, they want to watch Scooby-Doo, it's Mystery Incorporated. That's the one I would offer. But yes, I hope you guys have enjoyed day seven of <laughs> another fantastic Scoob Quest video. If you did, please leave me a like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on post notifications to get up to date with all the videos for my channel. And I'll see you next time. But until then, take care.